Hey guys! Welcome to Mukbang Thursdays! Uh, it's been a while. Sorry, I've taken like uh, two weeks off, I think. But I've been pretty busy uh, just with life in general. And so today we're gonna catch up and do a Mukbang. And yes, I realize I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore in my last Mukbang, but I love my new shirt and I don't care. So <laughs> I'm okay with it. So I hope you're okay with it. And there's some dust floating around over here. Uh, so today it's kind of going to be like a taste test slash mukbang in one because I got these tofurkey turkey and cheese pockets that I've never tried before. So I cooked both of them and with some french fries and that's what we're going to have. Yum. Looks good. And this is an uh, orange... Panda Express orange sauce. I've been enjoying that with my fries lately. So I'm gonna try not to shake the table too much because my tripod is balanced on a box. So I hope this works out for you guys. Uh, it's already been cooling for a few minutes because the um, the pockets needed to be cooked on 350 and the french fries are supposed to be on 425. So I took the pockets out first and then turned the oven up, you know, so my fries could crisp up a little bit more. I like crispy fries. I don't like mushy, funky fries. So these are from Trader Joe's. That one's really crunchy. <laughs> and I just added on some garlic powder and some Adam's Reserve all-purpose burger spice seasoning. These are really good. All right. I really want to try this. I'm excited for this. Excuse my half peeled nail polish. I haven't been able to find a acetone that is vegan. I was looking it up online and there's one I can order from Amazon, but I'm just gonna wait till next payday. Just spit everywhere, sorry. Yeah, so. It can wait. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't really bother me, so. Let's give this a try. It's still pretty hot. You can't see in there, huh? It's too dark. <laughs> see if I can squeeze it out a little bit. broccoli in it too. Oh yeah, team broccoli. First bite just tasted like bread. The edges, of course, they're very bready because they're thick and pinched close. Sorry, it's so dark in here. I have like as many lights on as I can, I can get, but it's still kind of dark. These are really good. I still haven't gotten a good bite. It's all going to be right down in the middle. I can smell it. <clears throat> the broccoli it smells really good and it actually really does smell like cheddar. I don't know what they used. Let's see. I don't know what they used in this to make it. It's probably nutritional yeast, but I don't know. There's a lot of ingredients in here. It's very processed. <laughs> I'm not even gonna look because wow really like there's so many ingredients. I don't have time to sit here and read the whole thing. It does say it contains wheat and soy at the bottom though, so we're good. <laughs> it's 
pretty good. I like that. Very tasty. Got my napkin. <laughs> There's a towel on the table, but it looks pretty dirty from the kids using it. <laughs> I think I should I should be okay. So what are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments. I have a doctor's appointment at 3.15. So I didn't want to pay for safe key, so I'm just going to take the boys out of school early, like probably 2 o'clock. Come home. Let them grab their little electronic devices, and then they, they can come with me to the doctor. Then we're going to go to the dollar store because I want to get some more oranges and some greens some bananas. I still have some things left from the last haul, but I really want to get some more fruit because those oranges they had there were really good. I was surprised at how sweet they are. Very tasty. And the watermelon that I had was bad. I left it too long. It got mushy and it was gross. So I might buy another watermelon because I was really craving watermelon and then I took too long to eat it. <laughs> and the one I had was bad. So this orange glaze is so good. You guys should get some from Walmart. It's the Panda Express brand. It's really tasty on everything, pretty much. <laughs> Very crunchy. Guess some of the pieces got a little bit too, too crispy, a little burnt. I know some people like that. I don't really like burnt flavor, but I'll still eat them. There's only a couple pieces. This has been cooling off while I talk. A little bit, it's still hot inside. Luis is really gonna like these. I have another one in the freezer for him. I won't eat it, because I know he'll really like it. Him. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Success. <laughs> Am I close enough? Ooh. You want to taste it? My friend Joe was trying to telling me that I needed to get a microphone for my mukbang because I had my camera so far away. So I try to make you guys a little bit closer this time. Let me know. Sometimes I forget to talk loud when I'm eating. Because <laughs> I'm just busy enjoying my food. <laughs> it's really good. I used to love Hot Pockets when I was a kid. So yeah, I'm loving this. Though I did like the, I did like the shell of a Hot Pocket better cause it was more like doughy and squishy and I like that better. This one's a little hard. Overall, not bad though, pretty good. Like, mm, I would definitely buy it again, so maybe a 7 out of 10. I'll have to see how much Luis likes it. 
He'll let me know for sure if he wants me to buy it again. Those soon veggie ramen noodles made him sick, so he told me not to buy it again. <laughs> And for me, they taste good, but they're so spicy. I even made some with one pack. I made two packs with only one packet of the seasoning, and oh, my mouth was still on fire. It's so hot. So I probably won't buy it again. And last night I came home and made some of the jajangmyeon black bean noodle because I still have a couple packets left and I don't want to waste it so that was my late night snack last night what do you guys have when you have late night snacks cuz mine always seems to be ramen that's my late night snack like my favorite late night snack is ramen Oh, I guess I should have told you what I'm going to the doctor for so you guys don't freak out. <laughs> I'm going to, to see if he'll give me an antibiotic for my tooth because I had an antibiotic from the dentist, but it ran out a while ago. Plus, I wasn't taking it consistently, so it probably didn't even work effectively in the first place. And uh, my appointment is not until the 9th, June 9th to get in to see the oral surgeon and I can already see like my face is swelling right here and my tooth is starting to hurt and uh, it was kind of starting to look like maybe it might break through the skin or something and start leaking and like I'm really worried about it so I'm gonna see if my doctor my regular doctor will give me an antibiotic until I can get in to see the dentist because I'm really worried about it coming through you know I don't want to lose half my jaw because I didn't take care of my tooth you know scary plus I wanted to get blood work done but you have to fast for 12 hours and my appointments not till 3 so there's no way I wasn't gonna go all day long without eating to get my blood work done I'll just make another appointment when I'm there for an earlier time when they have it available so I can get my blood work drawn. I need to get my iron checked, my B12, vitamin D. I was low on iron the last time I got my blood work checked so I wanna see if it's gone up at all. And that was probably more than six months ago so yeah it's time to go back running out of sauce already. <clears throat> I didn't think I would need that much. Disappeared fast. One down, one to go. <clears throat> I 
don't know if you guys can hear that, but they're outside doing yard work. They've actually been doing a lot of stuff around here since the uh, new maintenance company took over, or new management company, to, not maintenance, management company took over, which is good. They're repainting all the apartment buildings, so... They were brown, and now for some reason they're painting them white. Which I'm not so sure that's a great idea in the desert because they're gonna get dirty really fast. But they look nice right now. I don't know if that's a primer color and they're gonna paint over it a different color, but it does look nice. But they've only done like three buildings so far, so it's gonna probably take them a long time to reach my building. <laughs> And I see they've been getting up and covering everybody's windows on the outside and you know before they paint so it's gonna be like really dark in here for a while once they cover our windows until they're finished which seems to be a couple days it's taken them a couple days to do each building so that's gonna be interesting <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more orange sauce I'll be back again <laughs> This is the sauce I was talking about if you haven't seen it before. It's kind of funny I think I wore this shirt because I don't think anybody would actually look at me and think that I'm not in my 30s. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cute I had to buy it. <laughs> you know? Oh, uh, I have such a t-shirt addiction. I have a problem you guys. I literally need to go through my closet and show you guys all of my t-shirts like if you're a t-shirt person I have so many friggin clothes and I just ordered a new one I don't need any more they had this um see the way T Fury works is they have all these like basically you're like freelance artists and if they like your design that you send in they make it a t-shirt and then you make a commission off of all the shirts that they sell so a lot of people do like this combination type shirts like like the one I have that has Guardians of the Galaxy mixed with the Lorax like it's a lot of media mixing with different movies and TV shows and things like that which is why they're so like creative and they're so cool um I don't know if you guys have seen like the one I have the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Lorax one it's the Lorax sitting behind a a desk and it says like I speak for the trees or whatever and then Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy is walking up to him to talk to him because Groot as we all know only says Groot he doesn't talk so it's kind of fun you know it's kind of funny because the Lorax speaks for the trees so I love that shirt I love it it's my actually my personal Facebook that's like my background picture on my personal Facebook page but anyway um the new shirt that I got is a mix between My Little Pony. So it kind of looks like Rainbow Dash with different colors. <clears throat> so it looks like My Little Pony mixed with Rainbow Bright, which is like one of my favorites from the 80s. So it has her horse, Star Bright, her Pegasus, as, actually, is he a Pegasus? He's not a Pegasus. I don't think he is. He just runs on rainbows been a long time but anyway it shows like him with his rainbow colored tail and mane and it looks like rainbow dash but it's colored like star bright it's so freaking cute I can't wait to get it so sometimes I see these shirts and I, I just can't resist <laughs> I have to buy them So last night I was watching videos that my friend Shauna sent me of Con Marie, Marie Kondo from, um, she wrote The Magic of Tidying Up, something like that. I have the book over there, but I can't think of the exact title. But she wrote, she writes these books about tidying up, cleaning your, cleaning your house out, you know, getting rid of things, you know, organizing, da 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 da. 
So I watched some videos last night of her, because obviously I don't have enough time to read the book, so I was just watching YouTube videos. Um, actually, that doesn't make sense, because I could have been reading the book instead of watching YouTube videos, but it's easier for me to sit and concentrate on a video more than it is lately, you know, a book. So, especially a book that's not like a fantasy book or whatever, so. I watched those videos and those were really interesting and I was like, I remember Amy told me if I ordered that pony shirt that I was gonna have to get rid of two of my older shirts. So I was like, okay, I told her I would and I haven't done it yet, so. I have to go through my closet and decide which two shirts I'm gonna get rid of since I bought a new one. That's a tough decision. I have a lot of shirts. And they're all really cute. <laughs> I do have a couple older ones that have some holes in them that I'm like, I don't want to part with them, but I, I guess I need to. need to eat faster because this video is getting really long. <laughs> I'm a slow eater. Luis is always finished before me. I'm always really itchy. <clears throat> Sniffly, itchy. There's cat hair over the around this whole house. So much cat hair. Because our vacuum doesn't work that great. I was this close to buying a freaking new vacuum on my credit card last night and I'm still debating because the one we have sucks. It burns out every five minutes. You can do like one little area and then it burns out and you have to wait for it to cool down and everything before you can use it again. So it takes forever to vacuum. So I really want to get a new one. Oh. So. <clears throat> nothing is confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet. But I am pretty sure that I'm gonna be making it to Veg Fest, Oregon this year in October. My boss told me those vacation days that I asked for were not taken by anybody else yet. I put them in, waiting for them to approve them. Already looked up flights and car and hotel and everything. And as soon as I get this vacation, as soon as it goes through as approved, I'm gonna buy my tickets and it's gonna be official. So I'm just waiting for that vacation approval. Um, I'm really excited. I've never been to, um, I've never actually been like to Portland. I've only driven past Portland with my parents when we were on vacation one time. So I've seen like a glimpse of the city, but that's it. I've never been inside the city. And I've never flown somewhere, stayed in a hotel, and rented a car by myself. So this is gonna be like a crazy, exciting, busy, like crazy experience for me if I do it all alone with nobody to help me. 
I'm glad it's not international because I would totally freak out because I I don't think I can fly international by myself. It's too scary. But I am excited. I'm going to meet, if I go, I'm going to be meeting Jill for today and Randy and Shannon and Eddie. The Veggie Nuts are supposed to be flying out from um, the New Jersey area to go too. And that's why I wanted to go so I could meet all four of them at once. That would be so freaking, so much fun. So then, <clears throat> depending on how it goes, hopefully Amy, Fruity Foodie Amy and I can plan to go again together next year. Maybe that could be our yearly trip together. That would be so awesome. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. I really hope it all works out. Do you guys prefer steak fries, the big thick ones, or these ones, shoestring fries? Personally, I like the steak fries better. When I was a kid, I was a fish. <clears throat> I used to spend every day at the pool in the summer, every day, all day. And um, there was a bowling alley. We lived on the Air Force Base. There was a bowling alley right next to the pool so every day after go, we'd go swimming, we'd take a break. We'd walk over to the bowling alley and I would get the big thick steak fries and a big bowl of nacho cheese and dip it in the nacho cheese. It was like the best thing ever, but you know, <clears throat> I didn't know any better back then. So now I would just use vegan cheese. <laughs> My own recipe, of course. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Did you hear that? These might not agree with my stomach. My stomach is making really loud gurgling noises right now. <clears throat> That's not a good sign. Hopefully you'll be okay. Mm. <clears throat> 
bad thing about this kind of food is it's so heavy. It makes me want to literally just, I want to go lay down now. I want to go take a nap now. <laughs> Back to bed. If I had been good and just had fruit for breakfast, I would be feeling a lot better. Last bite. I really hope you can hear that. It's crazy how loud my stomach is rumbling. Not a good sign, Tofurky Pockets. Not a good sign. But if Luis likes you, I'll still buy you. <laughs> we'll see how it affects me in a little while. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you've tried this before and what you thought about it. Or if you haven't tried it and you want to try it. Don't forget to tell me what your favorite fries are in the comments. And thanks for joining me, my little broccoli bites, and I'll catch you in the next mukbang.